A very big welcome to you, my dear Pisces, and always a big welcome to those zodiac signs that felt that this constellation that exists only once a year has an inspiration for them as well. I do the reading exactly on the day the moon is in your sign, my dear Pisces, so I see constellation Pisces behind the moon, your own sign. And when I look at the sun, which is giving you the light, I see Sagittarius behind it, the archer, the guardian angel, the one that is bringing back and forth the knowledge of the duality, the consciousness that he is holding himself in its own center, seeing that he is pouring the water of life back and forth between male and female. You are the uh, desire, a desire to evolve, a desire to grow, a desire to come out of the deep subconscious, that part of the brain that is governing everything since the Big Bang, since our universe was born and everything that came into existence, meaning the moon that is giving us the tides and the uh, movement of the ocean and our emotions. So here we see the house of the ninth house of philosophy and you are the 12th house of self-loss, right? And this is ruled by Jupiter, the wise one, and you are ruled by Neptune, the dreamer, right? You uh, will give us the dreams at night and you will wake over us also at night. The yoga position for Sagittarius is Paschimottanasana, the deep forward bend, the deep uniting of upper and lower body, and then finding that you are the guardian angel yourself. And here, of course, I did fish pose, up dog, down dog, right? The evolution of the animal kingdom coming here very clearly to us through these positions. Your court card is the Knight of Cups. If your birthday is between February 8th and March 11th, this is your court card if it comes up in the reading, right? So you are looking into the small cycle. The small cycle for me are the readings that you're getting through the years. And I'm using 13 cards, 12 zodiac signs, and one is the sun. And the 365 days the earth spins around the sun is that every day from left to right, from the outside to the inside experience that we make through this human path, right? And learning the lessons so that we can grow and evolve. You, of course, are always going the path of love, like this river who is searching for the big ocean. On your full moon, you get the big reading. The 22 major arcanas are lying here, and I read them from right to left. And the left spinning cycle is the Earth that is, while she's spinning around the Sun, is actually, it has actually a wobble in itself on its own axis, which lasts 25,800 years. And that wobble divided through 12 then is an age and we say that right now we're in the age of Pisces but other schools say that we have moved into the age of Aquarius which comes after you in the left spinning cycle right so as you can see she is facing the left spinning cycle and I just wanted you to see that. Connecting to the last reading where the sun was in Scorpio, the message was give away and you always have plenty. So here you 
were invited to give what you have because when you give it is the perfect um, understanding that when I give right when he gives all the water in this one cup he can again give it back to the other one is giving and one is receiving there is always this play of duality in our life good so let's begin on the position of the fool comes the fool right so you're foolish enough to say all right let me begin something completely new in this cycle in this moment where the sun is highlighting the moon and the moon in your sign so as you can see he is physically going towards the left spinning cycle, the cycle of the soul. But here in the Visconti Sforza, you look quite poor. You look not so chic like he does. You don't have a dog, but you have here the wand pointing into this corner as well, where here we have a sun. And that son is letting us know that he knows how to take the direction. Dogs, dogs fighting, dogs declaring it themselves. Here's a dog. So the son is giving a new spin, a new direction, and you are saying yes you want to begin even though you look crazy even though you look like you have these feathers in your hair and you look really crazy loco <laughs> on the position of the magician comes the rainmaker the number 42 which then becomes a six and the four in here of the rainmaker is the four elements here and the two in this card are the two arms one is pointing up one is pointing down and here the eight the infinite symbol in the center where you reside if you are really in your consciousness in your higher consciousness so the magician the state of consciousness that says I am acting upon this idea this thought maybe a crazy thought maybe you had a thought of well let me just do this let me just go and move move really out of the subconscious and become like here the Sagittarius someone that is ready to mix and mingle and um, shift my consciousness into evolving evolving into a guardian angel and you are this angel here on the position of the magician you are now summoning the rain which is the cup the waters right you filling the water here because Sagittarius is filling the water back and forth so the rainmaker is powerful feels empowered and the number six then creates here a self-love a love that you say i am understanding the number six because the six is the hexagram the one triangle pointing down and the other triangle pointing up which is these two cups giving and taking and we have in the next month the gemini full moon which is the lovers and the card number six on the position of the high priestess a state of consciousness that says here is my intuition and my intuition is letting me know that i am evolving i am growing into the king of swords and the king of swords is Aquarius you are inspired through an Aquarius and maybe you even inspired through the age 
of Aquarius, maybe you really now have to let go your position in the sun, right? You had for 2,150 years the position of influencing through the sun everybody here. And a religion is usually formed in an age. And since it's left spinning, for example, before that was the Bible. And this is Jesus the fisherman. And before the Bible, the Old Bible, the Old Testament was the age of Aries. What did they do? They were blowing into the ram's horn and the sheep was killed as um, a sacrifice, right? And so here comes the age of Aquarius. We go up into the connection, into the internet, into we are in the world wide web now and liberate ourselves magically here in our head. So these wings are coming up, right? It's almost like Sagittarius is saying, yes, you also have wings. Yes, you come out here, but you have wings. And here you have also the butterfly wings. On the position of the Empress comes Capricorn. And Capricorn, the sun, will be next month in or in your next reading will be the sun in Capricorn. So there is already a giving birth because this is a state of consciousness that the um, Empress does give to us a connection to the keeper of the taboo. This is Capricorn, the keeper of this dimension, the number four. And of course, the six, six portal, because it's the number 15, the one, which is the magician. On his place came the rainmaker. And of course, the number five, which is the pentagram here, the five pointed star. And here also in um, Aquarius, the five pointed star. So very interesting message coming right away. And you have again wings. So it's about to get wings. It's about to come out of this deep subconscious. It's about to evolve and it's about to become a guardian angel for all of us very clearly. Then comes you on the horse on your court card as the knight of cups, this gentle soul, this personality that gives concreteness to the project and you want to do something, you want to go the path of love and you have understood that even though the devil has that negativity, you need to incorporate that. You must incorporate that because he's the keeper of the taboos and the keeper of the taboos, you give that a new meaning to also the negativity that there are things so that we can grow and evolve and shift and change. And then comes here on the position of the wheel of fortune, the change of season. And the change of season comes with now the position to the Capricorn. Capricorn is the cardinal sign of winter. So now the fall is ending and it's literally saying, yes, now you're going to come into even more deeper going within, going into again the 42. You have now a 42, 42 portal and altogether you have three times the six. Three is the power to know that in your third eye, in your knowledge, in your deep within, in your cells, you know what to do. And you see how this beautiful lady is literally looking at you and saying, yes, there is now a change of season that is coming with Capricorn to us. And we're going to see that we're going to have a, a different outlook because it's winter time. It's going deeper within its hibernating. Animals are going now into their uh, caves and sleeping and realizing that now they have to protect themselves from the cold. So you have here the change of season and on the position of the 
hanged man comes the obsidian. And the hanged man is a state of consciousness that says, I let go. Because here, this state of consciousness is the quiz of life. The All the questions that we ask, why are the things the way they are? Why is the universe so huge? Why is the universe or the stardust actually something that is uh, inside of ourselves and our blood and our every being? We're all made out of stars, dust, right? And so this star obsidian is coming, the number 38, and it's coming down in an and change in a consciousness that wants to be born and the obsidian speaks about that you are realizing the dark time is coming right the winter time the darkest month with Capricorn and now you need to check your self-consciousness and your self-observation and your self-understanding uh, of know yourself right because when you look in the mirror, who is looking at you? What do you see, right? Do you look at into your own eyes and recognize that this is someone coming out of the past that has learned a lot, but still there's a lot more uh, to learn? And that's why also the Wheel of, um, of Fortune is saying, yeah, you bring the change through things are changing in both directions, right? We have left spinning and we have right spinning. And so here the change of season is uh, literally speaking to you, is literally looking at you while you're walking towards her and realizing, okay, now the winter is coming, like in the Game of Thrones, winter is coming. <laughs> So winter is coming and you understand that, that this is a time to look deeper within, to know more who you are and why you are here. Then comes on the position of Sagittarius, which is now with the sun connected, the Ace of Pentacles. And the Ace of Pentacles is that crystal that is here speaking to you, the obsidian, and this crystal is literally you going up. You have then in the next month, like Capricorn, the power to climb up that ladder, the power to go towards the one, towards the crown and learn everything there is to understand that the highest uh, version of financial success is when you working with a higher consciousness. And then the money will just literally flow always right it will come to you and this is the north and the winter and this is also the night time of here the pentacle and the connection here is the crystal of all potential right of all ideas of all potential is coming here to you when you recognize who you truly are then on the position of the tower and the tower is that shake up that breaking things apart comes the bat now you know that the devil has bat wings as well why because the bat is very much connected to the moon the bat waits until the moon comes out and so here speaks the moon very clearly to you we see the moon behind the bat wings and we can recognize that you are influencing these animals and that you are asked to awaken to shake yourself into a new consciousness that you can bring into this world because you are the moon right and you're the dreamer and you're the one that has been 2150 years in the light and now something is it's falling apart it's leaving it's saying yes it's leaving because everything is leaving and so even the keeper of taboo is saying yes you gotta shake up the things you gotta awaken seasons are changing right everything is changing and so is your age changing into the age of Aquarius and you have intuitive on the position of the high priestess yes the king of swords is letting you know yes there is 
a shift. There is a change coming to all of us, right? Then on the position of the moon, which is here, the dream oracle of Alberto Villoldo, comes the woodwives. And the woodwives is the adaptability, the number 64, a 10, a 1, and a 0. And the 1 and the 0 is giving you now the understanding that you adapt. You adapt to the understanding that your time is finished, that your time is over, that there is a new age coming. And the age, the new age is here with the Marseille Tarot is Le Valet d'Epée. This is the page of swords. These are all the air signs, which is Gemini. So it could be the next full moon. You already feel it because the next full moon is the full moon in Gemini. Then there is, of course, um, Libra. And there is you, Aquarius. So the new age is coming. And you have here very clearly the invitation to awaken to this change and this adaptability that comes through the number 10, through the 1 and the 0, which then creates a portal, a portal where you awaken to a new you again. You can be yourself again, right? You're not in the sun. You're not in the limelight. You're not being looked at closely anymore. Now there is someone else that's going to be looked at, and that's the internet, and that's the stars, and that's like the hope that we're looking up to all the time, right? And so this these new generation, the all the air sign generation are understanding the age of Aquarius very clearly because they are air signs. So they know that the new age is coming and you are awakening to that as well. So now on the position of the sun comes here this fire card, the ignition, the number eight, the infinite number of coming and going, being involved constantly with the creation of life and here the creation is to use the fire element and to make something new create new um, inspirations right create new endeavors and so here the number eight as that yes i am wanting to create something completely new, right? And so one more thing I'm just seeing is here the um, 38 creates an 11, right? And then here the 64 creates uh, a 10. So we have one, two, three, four ones and four times the one is half the heart to begin something completely new, half the heart to be a new personality, have the heart to literally be the fool and say, yes, I'm going to just begin something crazy. I am crazy. And so what? I am who I am. And so the infinite uh, spin and the infinite power is speaking here to you through the sun that is now shifting into the age of Aquarius, which is the 17th card. And that's an eight so the age of Aquarius is really coming on the position then, of course, of here, the wake up call, a big wake up call that is saying, what are you not seeing? What are you not understanding yet? Comes here a new birth, a new birth that you are coming out of something. And it's really interesting because this card says, go deeper expressing the deeper meanings in life while staying attuned to childlike wonder is at the heart of all great art. The number 80, the eight in the zero. And so you are beginning something completely crazy. You are giving yourself the birth of who you want to be now. You're not in the sun anymore. You're the moon again. You are this planet that's spinning around the earth and is spinning around and is spinning our waters and spinning our emotions. And now there comes the fire and you are realizing something is really speaking to you to awaken, to give birth to a new you. And of course you are because on the position of the world is the moon. 
Look at this. How crazy is this? You coming out of this age of Pisces and you are recognizing that you are finally again are able to be this glamorous new moon. It's this pinkish vagina that you're coming out and you're like, yes, I have changed, right? I have shifted from this adaptability. I have recognized that the moon and the sun right are two players here one is feminine and one is masculine and here comes the masculine and here's the feminine and it's giving birth to both of them and they're realizing okay now even the sun is realizing oh my god now this is the age of uh, aquarius and aquarius is a star and what is the sun the sun is a dwarf star so a star goes into the star and this is empowerment right eight eight portal and this is the card number uh 18 there's an 18 there as well to calculate it together the nine a completion there's a completion in your life happening and so of course you are understanding the no the zero you're understanding the foolishness the craziness you're crazy because you've been in the light for 2150 years now you finally again be able to be just the way you want but you are now a different moon you are a glamorous moon you're not at this kind of moon anymore you are pink moon and you have shown us that how what it does to be in the light for 2150 years. you're a rock star you really are a rock star Wow, what a beautiful reading this is. I've never seen anything like this. So I hope I see you in the next one because we see that Capricorn is here and the sun is going into Capricorn. Until then, I thank you so much for being with me. Namaste.